Please remain standing for the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs be seated. Honored guests, faculty and staff, family members, and most especially members of the graduating class, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the Fall 2019 Commencement Ceremonies at Dalton State College. I'm honored to serve as your president of Dalton State College. Please hold your applause as I introduce the other members of the stage party. Stage party, please stand as I call your name. Dr. James Adams. Professor of Biology and as the senior faculty member present this year's standard bearer. Abigail Gribble, our student who sang the national anthem today. Dr. Christian Griggs, Associate Professor of History, the 2019 Dalton State Foundation Teaching Excellence Award recipient and this evening's speaker. Georgia Representative Jason Ridley. Dr. Adrian Epps, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Jody Johnson, Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. David Elrod, Director of the Dalton State Foundation. Dr. Marilyn Helms, Dean of the Wright School of Business and the Faculty Marshal. Dr. Sharon Hickson, Dean of the School of Education. Dr. Gina Kratulis tarter Dean of the School of Health Professions. Dr. Mary Nielsen, Dean of the School of Liberal Arts. And Dr. Randall Griffiths, Dean of the School of Science, Technology, and Mathematics. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I extend our heartiest congratulations to you. We are all proud of your dedication, perseverance, and accomplishments in reaching this goal in your educational journey and we look forward to your future achievements as you enter your professional career or prepare for future study. You are the most important group here today and we celebrate with you. There are also a number of people who have helped you reach this goal though and it's appropriate that we recognize them tonight also. Would the parents of the graduates please stand and be recognized. In addition to parents, many graduates have spouses and children who have 
sacrificed for our graduates to reach this goal. Will the spouses and children of the graduates please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Many graduates have grandparents, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, and significant others who have assisted them over the years. Will you please stand and be recognized? My thanks to all of you. Your support and guidance is appreciated not only by the graduates, but also by our entire college community. Graduates, no matter what the future holds for you, the education you received at Dalton State will be a powerful asset and no one can take that from you. What you have earned has prepared you for the next step in your life. You are joining thousands of other Dalton State graduates who have gone on to productive and rewarding lives and in the process have improved the quality of life in their communities. Congratulations on a job well done. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our state representative, Jason Ridley. Jason Ridley is a husband, father to three children and the proud state representative of House District 6, which includes North Murray and Whitfield counties. Representative Ridley is a native of Murray County and is married to Dr. Andrea Lawfridge Ridley, who is among our faculty in the School of Education. Since his election in 2016, Representative Ridley has risen to positions of leadership in the Georgia House, including serving on the Governor's Executive Committee, the Majority Whip Team, and as Vice Chair of the Banks and Banking Committee. Representative Ridley worked in the community banking industry as a commercial and agriculture lender for a number of years before leaving the banking world behind to start his family business, Four Oaks Farm and Produce. Currently, Representative Ridley is a financial advisor for Foundation Wealth in Dalton, Georgia. Please help me welcome Representative Jason Ridley. Thank you, Dr. Venable. Good afternoon. Great day to be here for a great celebration. Uh, I have to be honest, even though uh, I get to do these a lot, and it's an honor to do these, I always still kind of get a little nervous whenever I get up here, so y'all bear with me. Uh, but I have found a lot of solace uh, because I figured out there's a lot more people that's more nervous than me whenever I get up to speak, uh, one being my wife, and uh, the other being these fine people behind me because they have to answer for anything that I say that they wish I wouldn't have. So, uh, but congratulations uh, on today and on behalf of the Governor, Brian Kemp, Speaker of the House, David Ralston, and all members of the 155th Georgia General Assembly, I bring greetings and a well-deserved congratulations to the 2019 graduating class of Dalton State College. As our state continues to grow and our economy and workforce continue, uh, to grow also our communities need people like you. That's what makes this state great. We want to keep Georgia moving forward. We need the leadership of you to pick up where older people like me have to sit down. And that's what we look forward to. Congratulations. Y'all don't know how much uh, all of us are proud of y'all. We know what you went through, the obstacles y'all had to overcome, and y'all have done a tremendous job, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for those wonderful words, Jason. It is indeed an honor to have you here with us today. Thank you so very much. Our next speaker this, today is Dr. Christian Griggs. Dr. Christian Anderson Griggs, Associate Professor of History at Dalton State College, grew up in a small town in North Carolina. In 1995, he headed west to Utah, where he attended Brigham Young University as an undergraduate, earning a BA in history teaching in 2002. From 1996 to 1998, Dr. Griggs took two years away from his education to serve as a missionary in England for his church, where he grew to love English history and culture. 
After graduating from BYU with a BA in history education, Dr. Griggs went to Purdue University where he graduated in 2004 with his MA and in 2011 with his PhD, both in European history with early modern England, England as his major field of study. As an undergraduate student at BYU, he met and married his wife, Michaela. They had a son at that time. During the years, Dr. Grizz was pursuing his MA and PhD as well as working as a visiting assistant professor of history at Minnesota State University. He and Michaela had three more sons for a total of four. Dr. Grizz came to Dalton State College in 2009 moving his family to Northwest Georgia. Please welcome Dr. Griggs. Thank you, Dr. Epps, and uh, it's good to be with you guys this evening. Uh, you graduates, many faces I recognize, uh, and it's, uh, it's r really is an honor uh, that I can be with you during this commencement ceremony, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. I must say, though, I was a bit surprised by the time restraints on this speech. Um, they only gave me half an hour. Uh, <coughs> just kidding, they gave me a full hour. So sit back, <laughs> relax, and sit in. <coughs> no, I, I won't be speaking that long. I know the highlight tonight is certainly uh, the, the receiving the diplomas, uh, so I won't be delaying that uh, by much at all. But as I said, it, it really is an honor to speak with you tonight, and I hope that my comments can reflect somewhat of the, on the significance of this occasion. Uh, I want to thank the family members and friends who have come out tonight uh, to celebrate with you, the graduates. This is a day that should be celebrated, that should be commemorated, uh, because it is the culmination of many years of hard work. Earning a college degree is no minor accomplishment. In a few minutes, you will receive your diploma granted by the faculty and administration of the college that acknowledges and indeed proclaims the significant, uh, this significant achievement in each of your lives. However, uh, this should only be the beginning of the great accomplishments that you can achieve. Your education at Dalton State College and the tremendous work and effort you have put into earning your degree uh, will allow you to, to make a real difference uh, in the future in your lives uh, with the people you come in contact with in your families, in your work, and in your communities. And so as you leave college behind, you need to take all that you have gained during your years as an undergraduate and continue to apply it. Uh, continue to seek knowledge, continue to serve others, continue to work hard and strive for excellence, and continue to improve yourself as a person. We are meeting tonight in a commencement ceremony uh, with the word commencement, of course, meaning beginning. That's a rather interesting ceremony to have at the end of uh, your degree. Uh, a commencement ceremony sounds more fitting during freshman orientation or during your first semester uh, as, a, as an undergraduate, but we hold it now at the end. Well, why is that? The practice of holding a commencement at graduation dates back to the colleges and university, uh, universities of medieval Europe, as do most of our graduation rituals, including the gowns we wear uh, and the degrees uh, that we grant. When a medieval student earned his master's degree, the degree was given during a ceremony uh, known as the Inceptio, uh, a Latin word meaning beginning. This represented the beginning of the student's career as a scholar. In the English-speaking world, the Latin word, the Latin name Inceptio was eventually left behind and replaced by the word commencement, since the two words have the same meaning. The first official commencement ceremonies were held in Cambridge University in England before spreading to other English universities. Commencement ceremonies were also soon held for all degrees earned by students, not just master's degree. And this practice ultimately made its way to, to the United States as well, with the first commencement ceremonies held on American soil in 1642 at Harvard University when nine students received degrees. And so ultimately this medieval tradition is why we're having our own Dalton State commencement ceremony uh, tonight. Now, while the majority of you will not pursue an academic career as a scholar in higher education, like those old master's degree students did, I think there is value tonight in viewing the commencement ceremony as an important new beginning in your lives. Your graduation closes the door on one stage of your lives and opened up, opens up new opportunities for your future. As you leave Dalton State, 
you take much more with you than simply a degree. You leave with a new perspective on the world as you've learned about other peoples and cultures and ideas. Uh, you leave with skills and abilities you have honed through hours of study and hard work. You leave with a knowledge that you can improve yourself through committed effort and good decisions. You leave with an awareness that despite all you've learned, there is still much that you don't know. And you leave though with much, much more, all of which will allow you to make a difference in your lives and in the lives of others. Now on this day of celebration, we should remember that another important day is soon approaching, as it does every December. Hopefully, we're all ready for that day, buying the gifts we need, maybe preparing a few surprises. Of course, I'm talking about my birthday, which is this Friday. Thanks. My, my family's here, I'm just making sure they're ready, all right? <laughs> Now, I'll be turning 43, uh, which, uh, when I was an undergraduate, graduate sounded very old. It doesn't feel so old right now, um, but nonetheless, I'll be turning 43. Now, 43 isn't, isn't one of those big birthdays. It's certainly not a milestone. But as I was thinking about it, uh, with my birthday approaching and preparing this speech, I realized uh, 43 means uh, that I will have been an adult for 25 years. Legally, it's been 25 years since I turned 18, uh, so a whole quarter century, right? Now, of course, when I turned 18, way back in, what, 1994, I didn't sud suddenly become an adult overnight. Um, I was still in high school, I still lived at home, I never had a job, I didn't have many plans for my future except I wanted to go to college after high school. Everything didn't change overnight simply because I turned 18. That's just not how life works. This is the same, ultimately, with your college graduation. When you walk across the stage in a few minutes and receive your diploma, you will not suddenly be more of an adult or more of an educated person. The conferring of a degree does not change you, but it does acknowledge the changes that have taken place during your years as an undergraduate, while also marking a new stage in each of your lives, a new beginning. You have progressed and grown while a student at Dalton State College, which has happened because of individual choices you have made while pursuing your degree. The same will be true as you begin the next stage of your lives as college graduates. As you move into a new job, as you enter graduate study, as you raise a family, whatever you, wherever you go from here, it's important that you build on what you have already learned and accomplished as a college student. As you do that, and as you seek to do what is right, to help others, and to strive for your best, you can expect many more great accomplishments to come in your lives. So congratulations. Remember tonight and what you've achieved at Dalton State College but expect even greater successes to follow as you leave this commencement uh, and you embark on a new beginning in your lives. Thank you. Thank you, Christian, for those inspiring words, giving each of the candidates good food for thought. I am sure that you notice as the students entered the arena that they were led in by a fellow student who carried a banner known as the Gonfalon, posted to each side of the stage. These students were selected by each of the schools based on the criteria that included excellent GPA, leadership quality, and community service. The following students received that honor. Please rise when I call your name. Please hold your applause until all the names have been read so that each student can be recognized. Representing the Wright School of Business, Santi Angel. Representing the School of Education, Keisha Green. Representing the School of Health Professions, Andrew Gribble. Representing the School of Liberal Arts, Ashley Tharp. Representing the School of Science, Technology, and Mathematics, Madison Hobbs. Let's give all these students a round of applause. You may be seated. Indeed, all graduates today have brought honor to themselves, to this institution, and to you, their family and friends. Through their effort in completing the requirements for their degrees and certificates, has been vitally important. However, some have exceeded the minimum requirements and have earned recognition as honor graduates. 
I would like to call your attention to the honor graduates listed in the, your program. Students graduating with the highest honors is known as summa cum laude for degree students with excellence for, with excellence for certificate students, having earned in every course taken at Dalton State a perfect 4.0 on the four-point scale. Those graduating with high honors, magnum cum laude, for degree students with distinction for certificate students, maintaining a grade point average of 3.75 or higher. Those graduating with honors, cum laude, for degree graduates with merit for certificate graduates have maintained a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. The diplomas and certificates of these graduates are imprinted with the appropriate honor designations. In addition, honor graduates are wearing silver honor cords in recognition of their achievement. The silver honor cord, you will see a variety of other cords and stoles as well. Each honor society is identified by a particular color or in some cases with a medallion. To assist in identifying the individual society for which the student received his or her honor, I will direct you to today's program for the complete listing. And now it's time to present the candidates of the Dalton State College graduating class of 2019. Will the candidates for the certificate please rise? Will the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree please rise? Will the candidates for the Associate of Arts degree please rise? Will the candidates for the Associate of Science degree please rise? Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Degrees from the Wright School of Business please rise? Will the candidates for Bachelor of Degrees from the School of Education please rise? Will the candidates for Bachelor of Degrees from the School of Health Professions please rise? Will the candidates for Bachelor of Degrees from the School of Liberal Arts please rise? Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Degrees from the School of Science, Technology, and Mathematics please rise? President Venable, it is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the faculty and staff of Dalton State College to present to you these candidates. They have completed all the requirements for their respected degrees and certificates, and they have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the confirmation of the degrees and certificates. By the power and authority vested in me by the State of Georgia and the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Dalton State College who prescribe the academic requirements and as president of Dalton State College, I solemnly and publicly confer upon each of you the degrees and certificates you have earned as certified by the Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management and approved by the faculty with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges appertaining thereto. Each graduate has friends and family present who wish to hear the reading of the graduate's name. Any individual acknowledgement or outburst makes it difficult to hear the name of the next graduate. We therefore ask that you your applause, hold your applause until they have received their diplomas. That all graduates have received their diplomas and return to their seat. Graduates listed in the printed program but unable to attend tonight will receive their diplomas in absentia. Dr. Venable will now award the diplomas. The following individuals will now be awarded certificates. Catherine Yvonne Bilou. Savannah Faye Bowen. Salma Gazelle Castillo.
Mallory Renee Cox. Morgan Neely Dean. Brittany Brooke Kirby. The following individuals will now be awarded Associate of Applied Science degrees. Francisco Javier Guzman Davila. Clint Javon Dodd, magnum cum laude. Jessica M. Jones, magnum cum laude. Michaela Denae Lankford. Bryce Olita Odom. Cristal Rodriguez Rendon. Samuel C. Vogel. The following individuals will now be awarded Associate of Arts degrees. John William Craig III. Cambrile Ane Hernandez. Stephanie M. Lemus, James Troy Payton, Mia Tylan Scott, Jackie Lee Stevens, Bailey Lane Tankersley. The following individuals will now be awarded Associate of Science degrees. Katrina Ashley Besto. Kayla Elena Boynton. Zachary Allen Byrne. Danique Nakelia Campbell. Aubrey Lilia Cervantes, cum laude. Michelle Keith Cleary. Caitlin Blair Hall. Chase Alexander Hasty, magnum cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Johnson. <laughs> Kenneth John Kaiser. Caitlin Brooke Lynette. Tia Nicole Long. <laughs> Ashley Medina. Amalia. Maria Morris, cum laude. Ariel Joe Madison Sanford. Lindsay Mikhail Sluter. Chandler Richard St. John. Matthew K. Thomas, magnum cum laude. Allison Blair Wallen. Christy Lynn Wiles, magnum cum laude. Mm -hmm. The following individuals will now be awarded bachelor degrees from the Wright School of Business. I would like to invite Dean Marilyn Helms to center stage. Nathan Kirk Allison. 
Santiago Angel, summa cum laude. Yuri Miguel Antonio. Julian Caleb Bowie. Kituan Lachance Burns. Emery Rian Chandler. Brian Andres Chavez. Please hold your applause. Sean Allen Chisholm. Matthew John Cowart. Jordan Price Crabtree. Lee Dominique Daniels. Tucker Kelly Ford. Jeanette Gabrielle. Fabiola Gaona. Sebastian Guzman. Blake Austin Hayes, cum laude. Kaylee Nicole Hembry. Berenice Hernandez. Joel Hernandez. Jose Joel Hernandez. Caleb Lee Hill. Jacqueline Nicole Honeycutt. Christina Jacinto. Zachary Aaron Jocelyn Cum Laude. Hannah Louise Lafevre. Zachary Tyler Long. Christina Nicole Vachewski. Damian Maldonado. Edith Singrid Mazanares. Victor Hugo Martinez. Shaney Lee McClure. Colby Scott McHenry Cum Laude. Maria Guadalupe Mediola. Sonia Mendoza Pablo. Cynthia Cheve Mills. Hayden Moss. Timothy William Murray. Martin Eric Nunez. Yannette L. Ortiz. Charisma Emilia Brichelle Pindley, cum laude. Wiener Esteban Perez. Nathan Wesley Petty. Ryan Alexander Ram. Christian Wrangle. Jordan Lewis Reese Magnum Cum Laude. Carlos Eduardo Riviera. Panigawa 
I'm sorry, Isaac Panigua Sanchez. Oscar Serrano, cum laude. Logan Ray Shoemake. William Cody Stafford, cum laude. Talisa Marie Starnes. Chabando Trejo. Taylor Chelsea Voles, cum laude. Stephanie Megan Walker. Jeremy Franklin Watts, magnum cum laude. William Michael Yarbrough, cum laude. The following individuals will now be awarded bachelor degrees from the School of Education. I would like to invite Dean Sharon Hickson to center stage. Sarah E. Adame de Torres. Caroline Elizabeth Baggett, cum laude. Ashlyn Don Bilu Cum Laude. Haley Morgan Blackburn, Magnum Cum Laude. Leanne Marie Blevins, Magnum Cum Laude. Peyton Leanne Bradford, Cum Laude. Nicole Caroline Carolyn Brewer, magnum cum laude. Landon Bain Brooks. Brianna Cedillo, cum laude. Logan Noah Cloud, magnum cum laude. An An Angela Louise Kreider, magnum cum laude. Morgan Olivia Der Derryberry, magnum cum laude. Tanner Lynn Duncan, magnum cum laude. Hunter LeBron Floyd. Clarissa Beth Galaviz. Estela Anaí Gomez Cardenas. Keisha Don Green, summa cum laude. Andrea Lee Hart, magnum cum laude. Tasha Marie Hulk. Ashley Lachey Henson. Christian Mary Johnson, magnum cum laude. McCavan Mark Caliphant, cum laude. Mallory Denise Ketchum. Raina Landaverde, Landaverde. Taylor Renee Ledford, magnum cum laude. Hannah Elizabeth Marks, magnum cum laude. Daisy Adelila Martinez Mendoza. Lindsay Brianne Mather. Megan Lachey Mezik. Karina Panigua Molina. 
Desi Lorraine Rhodes, cum laude. Destiny Trinice Rodriguez. Estefany Vieira Sanchez, cum laude. Myra Ebert Sanchez, cum laude. Courtney Madison Scogans, cum laude. Samantha Malone Shaw. Sarah Ferguson Sheriff, magnum cum laude. Megan Brooke Storm, magnum cum laude. Haley Renee Wilson, Magnum cum laude. Miguel Gonzalez. The following individuals will now be awarded bachelor degrees from the School of Health Professions. I would like to invite Dean Gina Catullus Tartar to center stage. Jessica Ann Banks. Chelsea Marie Carter, magnum cum laude. Satin Siobhan Cochran, cum laude. Rachel Laverne Ellenberg, magnum cum laude. Donna Gail Floyd. Amber Page God. Lauren Nicole Gresham. Andrew Patrick Gribble. Ashley Nicole Holcomb, cum laude. Easton Gage Hall, cum laude. Aaron Melissa Hundley, Hudley, magnum cum laude. Heather Janelle Martin. Joanne Martinez, magnum cum laude. Tanya L. McMunn. Eunice Kanini Matuku, cum laude. Pamela Carol Nelson, magnum cum laude. Melissa Lee Ray, cum laude. Hannah Christine Reed, summa cum laude. Jason Lee Walker. Ma Mary Anna Christian White, magnum cum laude. Jamie Lee Wyatt, cum laude. Maria Laura Zumeta, cum laude. The following individuals will now be awarded bachelor degrees from the School of Liberal Arts. I would like to invite Dean Mary Nielsen to center stage. Maria De Jesus Alvarado. Hannah Louise Badger, magnum cum laude. Scott Russell Beck. Zachary Lee Brandenburg. Anai Regina Casa. Christina G. Christian, cum laude. Brittany Megan Cooley. Joseph Reed 
Dungan. Kayla Mariah Ebanks. Marcus Reed Fitzpatrick, cum laude. Shanika Tamara Gale. Kevin Lee Gobble. Yukari Gomez. Gabrielle Elise Graham. Jade Miranda Green. Michael Thomas Haggard. Avery Michael Hamilton. Jacob Cal Hixenbog, cum laude. Noah Massey Jones. Michael James King, cum laude. Alex Nicole McGee. Ashley Nicole Mullinax. Walter Daniel Oliver. Austin Ty Owensby, Magnum Cum Laude. Madison Brooke Perry. Catherine Bailey Pickett. Dion Ferdy Malik Pugue. Victor M. Rodriguez. Lacey Camille Rooks, Magnum Cum Laude. Kaz Alexander Sawyer. Constance Kelly Pirnu Spinita, Magnum Cum Laude. Crystal Alicia Stark. Reagan Birch Terry, cum laude. Ashley Therese Tharp, magnum cum laude. Jonathan Blake Thomason, magnum cum laude. Shauna K. Thompson. Natalie Jacinto Toledo. Kendall Abram Wade, cum laude. Carrie Michaela Wooten. Christopher Brandon Wright. The following individuals will now be awarded bachelor degrees from the School of Science, Technology, and Mathematics. I would like to invite Dean Randall Griffiths to center stage. Daniel Matthew Alberton. Eduardo Apodaco. Jose Antonio Baza. Carrie Leanne Beard, Magnum Cum Laude. Cody N. Beavers. Brooke Andrea Bennett. Matthew B. Blaylock. Bo Austin Kaler. Austin Gregory Deal. Austin Blake Denny. Maria 
Bezaba Diaz, magna cum laude. Tyler James Esters. Logan Drew Gazama, Gazaway. Bianca Mirabel Rose Goldman, cum laude. Carolina Amaya Gomez, cum laude. David Alexander Hayes. Yasmin Heath. Caroline Maria Hernandez. Concepcion Hernandez. Diana Cindy Heitzen. Madison Sky Hobbs, magnum cum laude. Tyler Shankly Hudson. Chandler Allen Keith, magnum cum laude. Brittany Marie Laws. Kimberly Marino, magnum cum laude. Carrie Dan Danielle McAlean, magnum cum laude. Maria Cecilia Paez. Kevin Mason Phillips. Sydney N. Bratt. Pratt. Louise Martin Ramirez, Jr. Gary Sanchez Soto. Andrew Tyler Wilkie. Please join me in recognizing the 2019 graduates of Dalton State College. That obviously feels pretty good, doesn't it? What those of you in the audience do not know, but what every student who just walked across the stage now knows, the very last word they will hear from Dalton State College after their name is the word go. <laughs> that is a metaphor. We want you to go. We want you to go far. We want you to go high. We want you to go everywhere. We want you to go make a lot of money. Because as the accounting graduates among you can tell you, every dollar you give to Dalton State College from now on is tax deductible. 
it is my great pleasure to be the very first to greet you as alumni of Dalton State College. Congratulations. As a symbol of your accomplishments at the end of the commencement into the next phase of your life, please take your tassel and move it to the left. As the ceremony draws to a close, it's appropriate that we recognize the group which has so skillfully guided these graduates to this point in their academic lives. The heart and soul of any college or university are its faculty and staff. And Dalton State is fortunate to have attracted a group which is both student-oriented and academically demanding. Indeed, it is the high standards expected by this group that have created the reputation for academic quality that Dalton State enjoys and from which these, these graduates will benefit. Will the faculty and staff please rise to be recognized? Thank you for your talent and for your energy. Graduates, remember the joy and excitement you feel tonight and hold that in your heart always. You will always be an important part of the Dalton State family. We will conclude with the singing of the alma mater followed by the recessional. During the recessional, the audience is requested to remain standing until the graduates have made their way out of the room. Thank you all for joining us in this celebration and have a great evening. Please rise for the alma mater and recessional.